well. And a move that a lot of people would claim that they didn't see coming, but we clearly did. 343 Studios has delayed Halo Infinite on the backlash that has been receiving that it deserves to receive over the graphics not being up to par. You know, this is why I don't trust trailers. I really don't. Haven't anyone learned from Anthem how we got this pretty looking thing and then we got what we got because of things being spreaded out? Then anyone learn from Puddlegate? That these games never turn out to look the way they do. But oh yeah, that's right. Some people are very selective in their memory. That Spider-Man and many other titles when first announced. Even, even the beloved Ghost of Tsushima looked very beautiful in the initial running. But once you stretch out development, you make all these sacrifices to get this game running. The game takes a hit. And unfortunately... This is what happened with Halo Infinite's um, graphical fidelity. And on top of this, now this would be probably acceptable if this was a game strictly made for Xbox One. But this is a Xbox Series X launch game now. And that's Microsoft's fault. So they're going to have to deal with this because they decided to make this game a cross-platform game. And the game doesn't match the fidelity that the Xbox Series X is claiming to possess. So, it being delayed, hey, I'm all for it. I mean, shit, I'm not even a big Halo fan. I've told you this before on this channel. It's the fact that if this means we aren't going to get a shit release in comparison to the past Xbox um one exclusives we're gonna get something that they want of higher quality i'm all for it because it's the reputation that matters it's the quality and reputation of a company that allows people to have this mindset that you know what i trust them they're gonna they trying to give us a better game you know they listen to us they see all the fun that was being made of this game and they're gonna do something about it they're not gonna sit here and make promises that they can't keep which is a good thing because some people will just show you something and you go years without seeing it and then you get the final product and it's good but it doesn't match up graphically to what we remember seeing before but since it's a uh, you know since you know fanboy logic you know how that goes they're gonna automatically make it sound like it's the best thing ever but I hope Microsoft fans Halo fans are fine with this because I'm fucking fine with it as a fan of um con as a console fan. If this means the game is gonna get the time it needs to stay in the oven, so be it. Okay. I mean, look at case in point. Let's talk about Cyberpunk 2077. How many times have that game been delayed by CD Projekt Red because it's just not up to par? And they have their reputation to worry about. You know, I understand this is Halo. This is the cash cow. But it's a difference between being the cash cow and being a money grab. And you just want to put something out and let it sell in the reputation of its name. Whereas not in this generation. You've done, you've tried that. You've failed this current generation Microsoft. If you're going to give a reason to buy a series x you got to have high quality first party games and i hope that's what they realized because shit hell no hell no what's the purpose i mean i was looking at infinite like you know if it's looking like this on series x do i really need to get a series x i mean i wasn't getting one on launch day anyway but shit for those who well it's coming out in November. The Series X is coming out in November. Will there be anything going there to play? I don't know. So I'm not in a rush to buy it. Because if as for first party, guess what? I'm going to be playing those games anyway. But people be like, but, the, you know, the Xbox is going to probably be like, oh, but what about playing it in the highest graphical fidelity? You know what? I'm good right now. 
I'm good. I'm good on that shit. This is why I'm not in a rush to buy a PS5 or a Series X. You know, Miles Morales, don't do it for me. Halo Infinite, don't really do it for me. But for the sake of quality purposes and a reputation that you're trying to repair, yes, Microsoft, delay the goddamn game. You did the right thing and stuff, but I can hear the Sony fanboys right now. Uh, see, y'all just failing as a company. Whereas they ignoring the fact that Game Pass, Game Pass has been keeping Microsoft well financially uh, compensated. Everybody has their niche. You know, the fact that all three of these companies are different, but yet their differences are enough to compete with one another and inspire one another. That should be enough right here for this generation. You know, not everybody believes in pouring in millions and millions of dollars to make a game that probably barely breaks a little bit above even or. A company don't believe in making games into a Netflix a service or one company just doesn't believe in just riding the same franchises for nearly four decades. But they all but well, one of them, all three companies do one of each. But it's all about where you fit in as a gamer. That that's basically it. And the fact that some people still want to push their uh they want to push their fanboy logic onto another crowd. Or some people just left anyway because they want to be with the cool kids, you know. Which is stupid. Like, it, it, I mean, down to it now. You want to go where you feel like you. this is the type of games this company is making that you like? By all means. But just to be with the cool kids, you just switch up your whole... Yeah, like, that right there. You know, like I had a, a friend of mine's. Who was a, a fucking Giants fan. And she switched up and became a Cowboys fan. Because of her boyfriend. And I'm like. He must have got some good pain. <laughs> or you fucking are a fake fan. You just don't go like that. Me standing here as a multi-console person. I can sit here. And I believe valid criticism. Is due across the board. And is deserved. Across the board. And for them to delay this game, they took that valid criticism and they're going to do something about it. And I'm like, you know what? Hey, kudos to you, Microsoft. Good luck. Good fucking luck. Anyway, y'all, because I'm a fury, I'm here and now I'm out. Peace.